Hello, I'm Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, and I am thrilled to join you to help wrap up what I trust was an extraordinary summit. The last time I had a chance to participate in this event was in 2013, and I was mayor of South Bend, Indiana. And I can tell you the administration and the residents of South Bend benefit to this day uh, from some of the services and ideas that Code for America fellows brought to our city. So I wanna thank you for the work that you've done and the work that you continue to do. Public service has always been such a high calling, and we've seen how public service can call people in many ways, whether or not your email address ends with .gov. And public service has never been more important than it is at a time like this. The very things that made this past year so difficult are exactly why the years ahead can be so transformational. As you know, the impacts of your work go far beyond the applications that you work on. In particular, the thinking that you are bringing to your work, the way you put people at the center of your design is enormously influential. It certainly has informed my approach and our strategy to put people, not just vehicles, at the center of our transportation systems in America. There's a lot said about innovation, so much so that sometimes you hear it talked about as if it were an end in itself. But of course, as you know so well, innovation has to be in service of purpose. At the Department of Transportation, that purpose has to do with safety, economic opportunity, climate change, and like the theme of this summit, equity. Equity is at the heart of all of our work. Now, I know that I'm standing between you and a happy hour, so I'll just offer one example of innovation around equity that we've been pursuing at this department, and it has to do with equity in safety. We have to make sure that electric vehicles, which run much more quietly than internal combustion cars, are able to emit a recognizable sound to keep pedestrians safe, especially those who are blind. So the Department of Transportation partnered with the Carroll Center for the Blind and the Perkins School to study, test, and develop sounds that, as of last month, are now legally required for all new EVs in the US. It's just one example of innovation toward a purpose of saving lives and making our streets a little more equitable for those who are walking or biking or using a wheelchair. Today, we stand on the cusp of potentially the largest investment in transportation equity in America's history. The American Jobs Plan is a once in a generation opportunity that would put millions of people to work building the more equitable and better infrastructure of the future. And crucially, investing in a big way in the research and development that can help make that possible. And we're gonna to continue to turn to organizations like Code for America to help design that better future. We need to design and build safer, smarter streets for all. We need to design and build more and better public transit and EV charging networks. In short, we need people like you. The Biden-Harris administration is deeply committed to a government that serves with dignity and equity for all. We welcome an opportunity to work with you to marshal the full range of skills and perspectives that are gonna be needed to achieve the incredibly ambitious and incredibly important goals that we all share. Thank you again for everything that you're doing, and be well.